So, I, I get a really weird feeling as soon as I step in here, like I'm not alone. I don't know, I can't explain it. It's just like this weird vibe. What is happening? Hello? So we're just gonna take a little look around, guys. This is a really beautiful memorial garden. This is actually located in Wesley Chapel, Florida. We've never been here before. So we thought it would be interesting to show you around. We just happen to be in the area. Now, most of the, it looks like most of the cemetery, well, but probably half of it, half of it seems to be a mausoleum and the other half of it seems to be memorial garden. So we just want to show you around a little bit um it's just interesting to see different cemeteries and of course we will do a spirit box session and see what we can catch on the necrophonic just happened to notice this lisa actually pointed it out to me as we were driving through and it's so sad this must be the children's area it says our little lambs look how beautiful this statue is though isn't that gorgeous it's so sad and so sweet. I love that. As we were driving up, I noticed there was this sandy kind of like pit area over here. I'm not really sure what it is. I'm still not really exactly sure what this is. There are names here, so I'm wondering if maybe the people, maybe their ashes were buried here. I'm not really 100% sure. It's just like this strange uh, wooden structure, and there's sand in it. It's really, really weird. If anybody has any idea what this thing is, please let me know. Because I have honestly never seen anything like this before. That is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I'm going to stand back a little further so y'all can see a better perspective. Oh, look. Orange trees. That's so cool. Right next to an orange grove. Huh. Look at this. Seriously, one of the most bizarre things I have ever seen. I'm trying to figure out what this thing is. Come over here a minute. What is it? Come here. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in a cemetery. Oh, really? The most bizarre thing I have ever seen in a cemetery. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> so what I noticed is there's this, uh, it looks almost like a bench, but it's like a plaque 
Okay. And there's people's names on it, right? Okay. So my guess is probably they were cremated. Okay. And then buried in here, maybe? Oh. I mean, that sounds really weird, right? Well. Like, it seriously looks like a giant sandbox. Why would they all be together, though? I don't know. I mean, they're way different years, too. I don't know. Maybe somebody else knows about that. That's what I said. If anybody. Yeah, that sand is not like a slab. Like, wouldn't that erode? Okay, right. But look, this is not filled up yet. No. So I'm saying, like, it's probably going to be left open until everybody's buried their loved ones there. And then maybe they'll seal it. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. And there's nothing written on the end. It's just like wood. No. I don't know if there is down here. Let me check. What is that? Got a really creepster feeling back there. Yeah, there's nothing here. This is really, really bizarre. Hmm. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but directly to our left over here is an orange grove. You're, you're right. <laughs> this is an orange grove. This is probably one of the most bizarre cemeteries I've ever been to. These are all little kids. Yeah, I mean, Aww. That's so sad. Yeah, little teddy bears. Look at the little. Aww. Bears. They got a Buzz Lightyear over Buzz there. Lightyear. And a game uh, controller. Aww. That's so sad. Why are oranges on this tree? Yes, they're No. Oranges over there. No. I won't. I won't. Like literally, this is in the middle of an orange yeah, grove. It is. I'm saying, like it's here, or, like it was back there. They probably uh, sold this property to the yeah. cemetery. They may not even harvest them at this point. There are like a lot of weeds over there. Yeah. See, see the weeds? I do. It looks like it's not. What are these weird trees back here? Um, yeah. I've never seen those things before. It is very pretty out here, though. I will give them that. Like it's this is beautiful. a beautiful location. It's very well maintained. We're just going to sit here for a few minutes, guys, and see if we feel any vibes. Lisa's going to go ahead and get out her necrophonic and her speaker. And we're going to go ahead and uh, turn that bad boy on and see if we hear anything. Hello, who's this? Who? No. Around here. Do you want to hold this closer? I do, camera? yeah. What's your name? <laughs> Sam? All right, so listen, we're going to have to ask that you come through one at a time so we can understand you. We want to talk to all of you, but we can only hear one of you at a time. So please come through one at a time for us. Okay. We have to control them, Jim. <laughs> So who would like to speak with us first? One of you can come through and speak to us. Tell us your name. Are any of you able to manifest behind us so that we can actually see you? That would be amazing. We would love that. Maybe they could pick an, or an orange for us. If you could okay, go over yeah. to an orange tree in front of us and pull an orange right off of that tree, that would be amazing. That would show everybody that you're here with us. Can you pull an orange down off of the tree? Not yet. What? They said not yet twice. I just heard something. It sounded like something fell in the woods. It sounded like a, 
Hi, Leigh. Leigh, can you take an orange off of the tree for us in front of us here? That would be awesome. Do you see the oranges? Do you see the do you see the orange tree right in front of us? All right, I'm going to point to the tree so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This orange tree right here in front of us. If you could go over to that tree and just pull one of those oranges that's facing us right off the tree. Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. Just one. Some. It said some. I'm gonna zoom in so we can see it. Bird. Yeah, I did see a bird fly by. Was that you? Me. Can you come back as the bird so we can see you again? Bird. Bird. Fly back this way so we can all see you again. So is there anything that you'd like to tell us while we're waiting for you to pluck an orange off of that tree? <laughs> I heard something in back here. There was seriously something in the orange groves. It did sound like, like a, a deer or something. Is there a deer back there? Should I do it? Should I get in trouble? Go look for that deer. All right, Jen, Jen's gonna go check for the deer. I'm gonna stop this just Wait. a minute. Jen is gonna go see what's going on back there. Let's go, guys. It's kind of scary because it's really overgrown back there. There's something seriously back there, though. She said, go ahead. I hear water running back there. I don't know, I can't see. I don't wanna be going in these overgrown things though, cause there might be, I don't have boots on and there could be snakes back here. That's my biggest worry. We definitely heard something. Oh, there's our bird right there. We definitely heard something coming from back here though. I don't know what it was, but it did sound pretty big. See, aren't these the weirdest trees? Like, it looks like stumps. And then there's just like these shoots growing out of them. Really weird. I love that this is the second time that the bells have been ringing for us since we've been here. So we'll just take a walk around the mausoleum real quick, guys, and see if anything... Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I think this is really nice, too, how they have the uh, all the benches here so you can just sit and visit with your loved ones. I think that's amazing.
Here is the other side of the mausoleum. Is there anyone in here that would like to talk to us? All right, guys, we're going to go in and check out the mausoleum so you guys can see what it looks like. All right. So I, I get a really weird feeling as soon as I step in here, like I'm not alone. I don't know. I can't explain it. It's just like this weird vibe. What is happening? Hello? Okay, this is crazy. You guys saw I shut this freaking door. Hello? Lisa's back in the car, guys, so. This is crazy. There is nobody else here. There's nobody else here. This is insane. I'm gonna go around the other side just to be sure. Nothing. There, there is literally nobody else here. That's where I just was. What? So as you can imagine, I'm flipping out just a little bit. Okay, so I'm freaking out a little bit, guys. I gotta tell Lisa what happened. She is not gonna freaking believe this. Hey, what's up? Why do you look like scared? Why are your, why are your eyes so big? <laughs> so I was just in the mausoleum. Yeah. And I walked through the gate and I pulled it shut behind me. I didn't latch it. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay. No, it was it was it was tight. It was oh, pulled okay. shut, but it wasn't okay. latched, right? right? So I start walking. Immediately as I am in the mausoleum, I'm starting to feel this weird energy. Ooh. And it does look creepster. As I got towards the other side, the door started creaking and I turned around, it was open a little bit. What? So I think I should well, do it. At least it didn't lock. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think I should do a spirit box session. Oh, yeah, Let me take, okay. you want to come in with me? Yeah, oh <laughs> Maybe it'd be good if I had somebody yeah, else in there with me. You by yourself in there. That is kind of creep sir. It's like narrow. Wow. That's nice to the music maybe. Yeah, I do like the music. The music is a, is a nice touch. The, are coming through a the music is a nice touch. I'm, I'm going to have Lisa turn on the spirit box. Okay. And. All right. Let's <sighs> All right, we're going back in. Yeah, I think probably these people were. The, the, yeah, let's leave the gate open. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. It'd be probably harder for them to close it. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. That doesn't lock, does it? No. Okay. I mean, it does latch, but I think we could open it either way. So. All right. So Lisa's gonna turn on the necro real quick. Let's see if anybody's creeping in here. So who was in here when I was just in here a minute ago? Oh, that was creepster. Who opened the gate? <laughs> them. <laughs> Who's them? <laughs> no, listen, you can't just say it was them and not say who they is. Well, give us a name. This is your resting place. <laughs> I don't know. Are you able to move this? Are you able to move this gate again for us while we're here watching for you? It said correct. All right, we're waiting. We want to see you move it. Please move the gate for us again. Yeah. 
Isn't it creepy? It isn't even, I know. As soon as I stepped in here, I felt like this weird Yeah, it's a weird vibe. There's somebody, there's a spirit unhappy here. That was too much. I was, I don't know. I, we just got a really creepster vibe in there. It's starting to get dark too. We got a little drive ahead of us. So we figured we would call it a night, but we may come back. We may come back sometime. You just never know with us. <laughs> um, but we got a lot of responses on the Necro. I feel like they were really trying to talk to us. So that's a good thing, you know. And I, I couldn't really make everything out. So when I do get home and do get to editing, I'm going to be able to pop on the headphones and see what was said. But I have a feeling it was probably something of some significance. So we're looking forward to hearing that. And we're going to go ahead and translate some of the Spirit Box session with you guys so that you can read it right up on the screen. And as always, you know, you can let us know what you hear in the comments section. But we hope you had as much fun as we did today. It's always fun, you know, to investigate and even even just explore different places, including cemeteries. Cemeteries have a lot of character, guys. And uh, I was always a little bit nervous about going into cemeteries. But I'll tell you what, it's one of the most peaceful places that we have found. You know, that you can kind of just go check out and look around and enjoy the surrounding areas. I mean... Who would have thought that this place would be in the middle of an orange grove? We had no idea when we came here. So that was kind of a cool surprise. And that sandbox thing, I don't know what that was, but that was pretty wild. We love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. We appreciate you joining us. And we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure. Adventure.